all right here i want to show you how you can answer this question this particular question b is a y question and it carries eight marks the question says the centers of two circles of diameter 30 and 20 respectively are 70 apart plot the locus of a point equidistant from the circumference of each circle that is the question so i want to show you how you can answer this question now the first thing that you need to do here is to draw a straight line like this then take a measurement of 70 millimeters 70 millimeters for this for the distance between the centers of the two circles so this is 70 millimeters so let's call the centers so let's call this this is center a here is center a here and here is center b okay now we are told that the diameters of the two circles are 20 30 and 20 millimeters so let's take that of 20 millimeters so the diameter is 20 millimeters so let's take 10 so that is half of 20 as the radius all right so these are the two circles this one is of diameter 20 and this is of diameter 30 millimeters so the next thing that you need to do is that bisect the space between these two circles bisect the space between these two circles so put your compass at this point here and extend it to any convenient radius draw an arc here and draw an arc here so with the same radius bring it to this point here to this point on the circumference of the circle draw an arc here and you draw an arc here all right so i want to locate the midpoint between this point on the circumference of the circle and this point on the circumference of this circle that is what i want to do here so i'm not going to draw a line but as i have set this ruler here so i can say that this is the midpoint so this is the midpoint so I will call this point, I will call it point C. Okay, so this is point C. So the next thing that you are, we are going to do here is that we are going to take equal divisions on this side and on this side. What I'm going to do is that I need four divisions. So I will take five, five millimeters. So starting from this point C, this is the first one. So this is the second one, 5 millimeters each. This is the third, and this is the fourth. So if I like, I can put the fifth one there if I like. Let me put the fifth one there. So, so this is the fifth one. Then I will also do the same thing on this side from C. This is one, this is two, this is three, here is four, and this is five okay so i have five points so five points so i need to number this so this is one this is two this is three this is four and this is five and then here also i have one this is two this is three this is four and this is five all right so the next thing that we are going to do here is that put the pinpoint of your compass at A here and extend to 1 on this side. Extend it to 1 on this side. So this is 1 here now on this side. From C, this is the 1 on this side. So put it at this point. Then draw an arc like this. Okay. So draw an arc like this. Then extend it to 2. Extend it to 2 here on this side. 
So draw an arc like this. Okay, then extend it to 3. Extend it to 3. Then draw an arc. Okay, so draw an arc like this. And also, then extend it to 4. Extend it to 4. Also draw an arc. Then you extend it to 5. Extend it to 5 and draw an arc. Alright, then take your compass, put it at point B here. Put it at point B, the center of this circle. Extend to 1 on the left side. Extend to 1 on the left side. So what we are going, to, what we want to get is the point of intersection of this first arc and this first arc, arc one here on this on the right side and arc one on the left side. This is it. So if I draw an arc like this, like this, they intersect at this point. They intersect at this point. They intersect here, like this. Then I will extend it to two. I will extend it to two here. On the left side then I will also draw an arc and look at the point of intersection of the two arcs so they intersect here this is the point of intersection and they also intersect here then I will extend it to 3 on the left side so draw an arc so arc 3 they intersect here and we also have this as the point of intersection. Alright, so then extend it to 4. Extend it to 4. So draw an arc from here. So the fourth arc, they intersect here. And we also have this point. Then extend it to the last point. That is 5. So draw an arc intersecting the fifth arc at this point. So the fifth arc, they intersect here. All right. So these points, we are going to join them together with the use of our French curve. So this is the center point. So you take your French curve and you join them together. So this is it. So I'm setting my French curve like this so you can join so set it like this so we join this together first okay so we join this together so now we also set it like this okay and then so the last one here Alright, then I bring it here and also I'm joining this together. Alright, so this is the locus of the point that we are asked to produce, which is equidistant from the circumference of each of the circles. So this is what we are asked to produce. This is the locus that we are asked to produce. So it is this. So it's as simple. As I've shown it here. So you can use the same dimensions to do your work. Thank you for listening.